I guess it's since inset day I've been using modelling a lot more in my lessons and I think that it's really um, boosted the students' confidence with their own independent writing. Um, specifically I've been using that structure of I do, we do and then you do. So I do really provides that expert uh, model for them to refer back to during the lessons. But particularly I find that the, the we do phase is where they're, where they're gaining their confidence because ultimately it's their ideas that they're sharing with me. However, they just have that expert in the room to coach and guide and structure those ideas on the board together. And then they feel ready to tackle the writing on their own. I also feel that during that we do phase, it's a great opportunity to utilize some vocab work. So that's where I'm introducing um, perhaps some new tier two uh, and perhaps some tier three vocab. And not just as well for my higher prior attaining sets, but for, for all my classes. Um, and I think that it, yeah, it really does, like I say, boost their confidence and they can see it, how they need to embed and utilize that vocab as well. Since the last inset, I've been thinking about my use of modeling and particularly use of the visualizer. Um, I like to put students' work up there and use it as exemplars and annotate and talk about the metacognition. And then I also like using it myself to model uh, examples of exactly what's looked for. And again, using that metacognition to really explain those thought processes behind what a good one looks like. Hi everyone. Since last inset, I have used both modeling and deliberate practice within my lessons. Live modelling and differentiated student exemplar has been really effective in modelling steps to success through the understanding and application of key skills and techniques being taught, where students have had the opportunity to practice and apply these through deliberate silence. This has been a really great way to build students' confidence when working independently, for them to then identify the success in both their own and others' work, but also to be really proud of the work that they have created. Since the last CVD session, I've been using modelling in my classes to make sure that all the students know exactly what they need to do to be successful in their tasks. Then I've been using that deliberate practice time to give students the, the time to focus on their practice without distractions to make sure that what they produce is of a high standard. And then we share examples of good practice with the class to make sure everybody knows what they need to do to be successful. So since the last insert, I've used metacognitive strategic thinking, uh, questioning uh, methods in with my classes, which have been really effective uh, way of building their independence and boosting self-awareness when approaching and completing tasks.